Yo, 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 what's going on? It's your boy Shadow back again with another YouTube video. And today what we have for you is, uh, I don't even know the title of this joint, but we're making t-shirts today. That's all I know. We're making some t-shirts and I'm going to show you how to make these t-shirts. So, uh, long story short, this is the um, t-shirt transfer paper for white shirts. You see, I got my white shirt loaded. The step says 375 for 30 seconds. I made my artwork. Um, I'm ready to start offering classes um, to show y'all how to design all this stuff in Photoshop. It's, it's very simple. I'm gonna make it nice and simple. You gotta put the image in reverse. That's why it's backwards. Um, I got her, I got Stacey Abrams printing out now. Sorry that I gotta get all political on my channel, but yo, I don't, I don't, you know, you already know what it is. But uh, yeah, basically Stacey Abrams, who she is, but we're not gonna get into all that. Just Google it, basically. We got our shirt ready. I'm getting ready to press this jump, so let me get my camera set up looking straight. Get my camera straight up straight. Make sure we looking good. All right, so back again. So what we gotta do is this. All right, so you got your image, right? This is the image. Um, we just placed it on the shirt. Hopefully y'all can see the fucking shirt. Um, place it right there, four fingers down, of course. <clears throat> Four fingers down, and then for this one, what you got to do is um, use the craft paper. Now I'm still using my same old heat press. I haven't been having any trouble with um, people be like the evenness and it, it fucking whatever. It's the same heat press. Ten years later, um, still working pretty good. So you put your um, craft paper on there like so. All right, nice pressure, nice pressure. Put some nice pressure on that jump. And you just wait. You know what I'm saying? Just wait that 30 seconds. Wait that 30 seconds. Over here, what we got? We got the girl Stacy Abrams over here looking flitter. Looking flitter. Alright. You know what I'm saying? 13 seconds left on this thing. Shit. There you go. All right, now this is the trick right here. Well, it's not really a trick. Uh, what you gotta do is this. All right, so when it releases, you know, take your craft paper off. It's a hot peel, so stretch the side of the shirt. Stretch the sides. Get aggressive with it right there. Then peel it up quick. Peel it up real quick. Because if you don't peel it up quick, What's gonna happen is um, it's gonna stick to the paper, right? And if you watch my previous video, watch my previous video, basically, you know, um, I did, I watched it like six, seven times, and man, this shirt looks amazing. The ink still stays in there, no, no fading, no, it fades a little bit. I mean, it's it's not an issue. It just fades a little bit. Um, if you did it right, it ain't gonna be no crack and no peeling. Um, it looks amazing. As long as you print this out on um, pigment base inks, okay? Because the, the, I think people having issues because they don't know what type of ink to use. You have to use pigment based inks. So follow my videos. I'll let you know what pigment based inks are. Um, I'm gonna put the link to my training, of course, in the bio. Once it's ready, I update the YouTube um, feed with it. But I got one shirt. I'm gonna make another jump for y'all. Right. Let's see. Hold on, let's see if I can get this adjusted for you. Let's adjust it right. Let's see what we can do. There you go. Let's see if we can make another two jump. But yeah, this is what I do first. Um, I forgot to show y'all this step. So when you're cutting this, you don't have to cut it like the, um, the dark transfer paper. What you gotta do is um, just cut close to the edge. You, you don't have to be perfect, but just cut close. If you can, if it's a square image, just cut to the edge. If it's like, you know, something this contour has like little, little shapes and white spaces, just cut around it. Like for real, for real, I can leave this. I can leave this and it still be fine, but I don't want to. 
So I'm gonna just kind of cut close. But if it's something like a name, like a part birthday party t-shirt with a two, then you know how the outlines work. Just cut as close and it looks it looks good. No lie. So this is good. This is what they sell at the mall, like the middle of the mall t-shirt junks right here. This is the secrets how they how they getting it in. And I'm using the same um Nina brand paper. The shirts I'm using. I got a little pluggy plug on these. I'm using these jumps at the moment. But this is just for myself. I made it for myself. That's the only reason why I got these shirts. You know, I'm not selling these shirts because they're a little, a little expensive. A little too much for what I'm doing. Um, but I like I like these for myself. But I usually get like the next level John stick. For real, for real. I just got a new plug. That's all I'm gonna say. <laughs> Ain't no big difference, but I just fuck with these. Alright. So same difference. We put it right there. Right there. Make sure it's you know nice and centered. It looks centered. I've been doing this for a while. I've been eyeballing it. But just use your fingers as a measuring, as a guide. And uh these also have good guides as well, so this is this is actually the guide template and shit right here. So if this is in the middle, you're good. All right, so use that as a guide. 375, 30 seconds. All right. Slap it in. I'm gonna get my next image ready. Um. So I found this image online. I just uh, tweaked it to put we voted on there. So it looks fly. All right. Um, what a jump. All right, yeah, I'm gonna print this out. Now you see how this got the little white spots around the edge? Basically what I'm gonna do is um, when I cut it, I'm gonna just cut it like like around there so it look clean, all right? So this is almost ready. Get the craft paper off, do the same thing, same thing. Start from the sides. Peel it from the top. Nice and smooth. Nice and smooth. All right, then we're going to go here. Usually, also what I do, you know, I would press it again. You know what I'm saying? I would press it again for real, for real, but... You know, for this for this video, I'm just gonna dang on to show you. But I usually press it again for like, you know, and put the craft paper over top of the image for like 10 seconds. All right, so I'm gonna print this joint out. Hold on. I thought I already clicked print for them. Damn, I thought I clicked print. Sheet, a sheet. All right, where that thing at? All right, I didn't even click print. All right, cool. Oh man, I've been grinding, man. I got some more, um, more videos for y'all. Embroidery videos, sewing videos. My favorite, my baby. I call her the Swiss Miss. US cutter. Best cutter on the market. Then we got the Swiss Rose. Got the Swiss Miss and the Swiss Rose. The Swiss Miss and the Swiss Rose. So we um all right so that's in reverse see the thing with the um printing it on the white shirts you know what i'm saying it's a lighter feel you know what i'm saying and uh feels thinner than the dark joints it works on very light t-shirts um i like the feel i like the feel and the washout a little better for white shirts but i still i still like the black ones for black um they feel good this is quality stuff here this is good. It feels like direct to garment. The only difference is direct to garment is a, it pops a little more. The color pops a little more and it fades a little less. A little. Very little. But if you, you know what I'm saying, if you're selling some shirts real quick, these things, I mean, they last forever. As, you, as I showed you in the last video, six washes, seven washes, faded a little bit. You know what I'm saying? Still look good. But um, this, 
Let me get my next shirt ready. I should have turned my phone on um a silent mode. I know somebody gonna call me. Somebody gonna call me up. Asking me all these questions and stuff. So we'll wait till that's print out. And also, if you want to do it, I, I always pre-press my shirts like a little bit. So, just kind of get the wrinkles out. You ain't got to put the pressure on it too much. Just get that wrinkle out. See how that looks? Looks good. So, you know, as y'all know, I've been doing this for a while. I can app all these shirts. But, um... Make sure you practice because it's not always going to look, not always going to look how you want it to look. And if, you know, you mess up, don't be afraid to start over. You know, it's, it's okay. I messed up a lot of shirts. A lot of shirts. All right, what we got here? I wish this thing hurry up before somebody call me. <clears throat> so the Canon Pro 10... It's a good printer. They have uh make sure you look for pigment base because the first one I bought was a uh Pro 100 and I mean a client was upset. Her stuff was just washed the fuck out like it was gone. You know what I'm saying? It was terrible like the worst experience I had and once that happened I didn't even want to um I researched it took me like a good 3 months and I didn't want to make the t-shirt transfers. But then I figured out why it was because of the pigment based inks. So that's what um that that that's what my research led me to. So it took me a while to kind of figure out what was wrong with it. And I found out I wasn't using pigment inks. So you gotta use pigment based ink for these things. I can't uh keep reiterating myself more. So I'm gonna try to get this position right. So y'all can see this. All right, get my cutter. Make sure I don't cut my Teflon sheet. All right, cool. So y'all see this, right? Just cut close to the edge. It ain't gotta be perfect. Or it could be if you wanted to. All right, you see this? See how this is going? So I'm gonna cut close to the edge. And then once that white, y'all see that white right there? I'm gonna get this. You know what I'm saying? A little bit on this side there, right there. I should have used some scissors, but uh, y'all get it. Y'all get the gist. All right. And then we just gonna keep cutting. Yeah, I get that little line out. All right, cool. Let me use a razor blade. What about a razor blade? Razor blades. A razor blade. My razor blade usually hiding from me, but uh. But y'all get it though. I hope y'all get it. Man, these people be slow. But this is how it looks. So you got enough of that white around the edges. We gonna put it over here where the shirt is. You see that? Like that. Um, in this case, it looks like the center line is probably like somewhere in between here. So we are gonna keep that like right there. All right, I'm trying to tilt this up a little bit. There we go. Uh, get our craft paper with a craft paper. All right, craft paper right here. In positioning, something like this, I would usually do like four fingers, but since this little thing is right there, I'm gonna just keep it how I got it. With the arm stretch is this looks good right here that's kind of indicating that the that is um up i just don't want it too far up that's a tricky little one all right tricky little one 
because it's not an even, not an even design. Then we did 30 seconds. All right, back again. All right, so what you do is the same exact thing. Take the Teflon sheet off, pull it from the sides, get it from the side, and then, um, shit, take that joint in a nice smooth little motion. Hopefully it don't mess up. And I'm gonna show you what I meant when I said I usually like press it again just to get the wrinkles out. Cause you see, it kind of wrinkles up a little bit like right there. All right. Especially when there's a lot of white space in the image. So let me just put the craft paper right over top of it. Hit that jump for like, maybe like 10 seconds. So it was at 33, I'm gonna stop at like 23, 22. 23, 22, all right, word. And sometimes the craft paper comes up. Sometimes you gotta peel it real slow. And then it looks, woo. Looks so much better. Looks so much better. Man, look, check that out. We got the Statue of Liberty flinging his old ass out. So time for some new, time for some change. Time for America to reunite. You know what I'm saying? We got some American pride back. You know what I'm saying? So glad to see that the, the real Republicans are not fucking with him. So that's all good. But I ain't gonna get political on this channel. Um, Republican, Democrat, Independent, we are America, you know what I'm saying? So, if you like this video, like, comment, and subscribe. Uh, hit the thumbs up, notification bell, all that good stuff. Peace.